guys. Um, so I am getting ready to start my day. And one of the questions that I get asked all the time is to share about how I organize my day <laughs> as a mom, as a business owner, like as somebody who's kind of a freak who is a total freak about efficiency and uh, being intentional with my time and just like wanting to maximize everything that I'm doing at all hours of the day. Um, here's a few things that I do just in my normal routine that may help you too. And it, this is gonna make probably the most sense to resonate with you if you also own a business, are an entrepreneur, are thinking of being one one day, are a creative, um, or you're somebody that is like more in charge of your day-to-day -day schedule. Um, but I do think there are some things here that can help no matter where you are or what you're doing during the day to just make it, um, the time that you are putting into it just count a little bit more. First things I had to learn is that I have to have a little bit of a plan. Otherwise, just going through the day and like having a random to-do list just means that I'm pulled in a million different directions and that I never actually accomplish the things of, that are the most important to get done that day. I'm just like checking off boxes because it feels good to do that. Um, but that doesn't actually help <laughs> like get things done that need to be done and do things that you want to do as well. So that's what this is all about is like more time and space and margin for the things that you also do want to have time for too. The first thing that I do <clears throat> after I go through my full morning routine, which you guys can see, <laughs> I'll link that below. Um, but one of the first things I do is I just sit down and I get quiet and whether this is a meditation <clears throat> or it's time journaling, or it's time listening to a playlist, or it's writing a prayer list. It's just like time immediately um, before I jump into my day and the busyness to kind of just like reconnect as to like why I'm doing what I'm doing, what I want to focus on, what things are important to me, and the energy that I want to take into all those things. Jump in email before I'm talking to my team, um, before I'm even making like my plan of attack for the day. Like I just focus on first making sure that my energy and my like vibration are at the highest possible level. It should be long. I literally sometimes like set a timer for five minutes. I'm a big fan of timers. You're going to see. Um, sometimes it's 10 minutes. Some like Mondays, let's say, I feel like I need a little bit more just to, like get back in the swing of things. And so I'll do that. It can be totally flexible. So the first thing I do is look at the calendar. I pull it up. <clears throat> and even though it's like what I'm doing, you know, organizing my day, I always look at the full week. So let's say it's Monday, I'm sitting down doing this. I'm looking at the full week. I'm looking at my personal calendar commitments or social stuff going on. I'm looking at my work calendar and then I'm also looking at what's going on for the team. I found that looking at things that need to be done for the week is a much more uh, efficient way to do things for me so that I don't get stressed out when everything's not done in one day. But I'm looking at the things of like, okay, what needs to happen this week? And then I write all those things down. So usually I'll write them in the categories of like personal and then work and then team, right? So then I have everything that needs to get done that week just out of my head at the calendar this way like a big overview first um is so helpful because then I know how many nights like we're eating out versus in um the, the times I'm going to be cooking like throughout the week cooking dinner or not um if we have any date nights if there's like child care that's needed um so <laughs> all these different factors and I have this like massive list <laughs> chunked into three sections. And then I ask myself a very important question, like do all of these things need to be done by me or are there things that I can either outsource or ask for help or um, get off my plate somehow? One of the biggest misconceptions and thing that sometimes I think maybe as women, but men too, we pride ourselves on like the ability to do everything. Um, and I think when you run a business, that thought um, can just lead you to so much stress and so much anxiety and a lot of it is unnecessary. A lot of it can be relieved by just the act and process of learning to ask for help. Um, you guys know that this has been like my huge theme this year, especially becoming a mom, um, but it's just something that is so ever present. Like you do not need to do everything alone by yourself. There is no prize at the end of the day um, for doing it alone. So I am continually practicing that it's grocery delivery or it's asking somebody else on my team or outsourcing. Uh, I always need to have that self check first. 
I will try to do it all and then I will get stressed and then it's just not good or productive for anyone and then I end up spending time that's not in my zone of genius and things that I don't need to actually be doing. So even asking yourself, does this need to get done at all or is this something extra? And moving on to just the day. So looking at that list, I will make a list for that day. Um, I use a planner called the Day Designer, but you can use whatever works for you. But I just pick my top three things that need to get done that day. Three things. And the key about this, they are things that are the most um, impactful, the most meaningful, the things that make everything else on the list. Like if you get nothing else done, these three things move the needle forward. Um, they're super important um, and or urgent. They need to get done that day. Just three things. Are you hearing that? Just three things. Um, then the rest of the things on the list go into like different a different part of my list. So it will be like top three things. Those are the things I cannot move on to any other things on my list until those three are done. Um, then I have like a side list going of like personal things I need to do if and when there's time. And then just a to-do list of like, okay, maybe it's for like the next day or the other important things to get done that week. It goes below it. So I am not allowed to go to other places on the list just to check things off to feel productive if I haven't done my top three things first. Then... What I do, I have my top three things and then I have the list of everything else that's happening. Um, so then what I do is I set a timer and I try to go for like two hours in a row and just go. And for me, this has been, this has been like such a helpful thing to do in the morning. Um, my brain feels the most awake. I feel like the most creative. I feel like I can do the tasks that are kind of the the hardest ones to do or, um, or more hard, require more brain power. Um, and so I set a timer. I have not checked email at this point or Slack, um, anything else. I feel like those things can wait until I get my most creative stuff done first. Um, and sometimes I use this time cube. I know you guys have seen this on Instagram story. You can get this on Amazon. Um, you can set it for 30 minute chunks, 15 minutes, 60 minutes, five minutes. Um, it just helps minimize distractions and just helps you like just truly go and focus on one thing. Hours of the day where I do that, where then after my two hours are up, I go in, I log in, I check Slack, I check in, you know, with the team and um, then also set my timer for going through my inbox, which I try to do just twice a day and really have been pretty good about that because it can be such a time suck <laughs> and drain and it's often not the most important things that need to get done. So I'm talking about like if you're wanting to uh, create and do things that always seem to like fall to the bottom of your to-do list because you get sucked into like the daily fire drills and like the things that are super, super urgent that you never actually get time to do the things that would be so impactful in your business. Um, so this is just how I have <laughs> figured this out and just a way that works for me to do that kind of work. Just with social media, <laughs> I really honestly try to check it just two times a day and um, I'm just like very intentional when I do of like I'm either in there posting or I'm responding to DMs um, or to comments and then I'm out. I wanted to just show you guys like what this actually looks like. So I put the date up here and then I do my top three. And then here is where I put anything else, almost like the rest of the week's tasks. So if I do check off those three, I know I go right to here. Um, and then over here, I love that there's an extra to do. So this is where I'll put things that are like not as urgent. So like personal things, doctor's appointments, like uh, grocery orders, like things that I just need to do in my personal life um, just to stay organized on top of things. So I have it there and that comes after I've done this. So it's like one, two, and then three. And um, I love this little spot like for dinner. Um, I oftentimes will say like lunch slash dinner. What's the plan? Because <laughs> a little bit of intention goes a really long way especially with food um, and I love this spot for just filling in some daily gratitude and I'm not perfect at this this I'm not like a robot you know <laughs> there's sometimes things that come up that um, put this framework like throw it off a little bit but for the most part having um, this like a little bit of structure helps me actually create a lot more freedom to my days and just working more efficiently so that it's not I'm not working all day I'm not working crazy hours but like actually getting the stuff done that needs to get done and that I want to get done um, has been so helpful so this has taken me years to figure out so 
I would just encourage you to like try and test some things and see what will feel good to you. When I was first starting my business, I didn't really have this process in place. And so I would just like be working nonstop all the time, having crazy long to-do lists, but always like having anxiety because it, ne it never felt like things were actually moving forward um, until I just got a little bit smarter about being efficient and having some rules for myself that like helped keep me on track. Um, so I hope that this helps to see and like be walked through in some way uh, and that you can take it and use in your own life. Was this helpful? Just let me know. I hope so.